and welcome to my channel. My name's Angela and this is Devon Thread Tales. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to do a Friday Sews. It's going to come out probably quite late. If it doesn't come out on Friday, it might even be there Saturday morning. And if it is, I'm very sorry. Um, so I shouldn't strictly call it Friday Sews, but fingers crossed I can get to edit it all on time for you. Um, I thought I would do a bit of a different video today and I would share a little bit of what I'm doing throughout the whole day because I was doing a bit of sewing and that kind of thing and I thought it'd be quite nice to share with you. So I'm going to zip back to the morning and uh, I will see you on the other side. Bye! <laughs> so it is Friday morning and it's about half past nine. I've been up, done a bit of clearing up and what have you. I'm in my gym kit so I'm not in anything me made at the moment. Um, I'd really like to make the, I think it's Friday Pattern Company, they do an Arlo track jacket. I've got the pattern, I haven't got any fabric for it but I really want to make that because I think that'd be quite a nice thing to wear for when I go to the gym and, and things like that. I don't really want to make my own sportswear because I get I don't know if it's because it's, you know, the age I am, but I get really hot and really, really sweaty and I don't want to make stuff which might not breathe properly, but I thought a compromise for going to the gym would be wearing a nice little homemade jacket. So that is a possible plan. So I thought I would just very quickly share with you, um, I'm going to record a few bits during the day today, which is a bit different for me for a Friday sews, but I am going to pop to the shops in just a moment. I'm going to make something called a campfire stew, which is from the Pinch of Non book. It's going to go in the slow cooker and it's basically going to cook all day. And then we can have that this evening. My husband and I can have that this evening, which will be lovely. Um, it's very tasty. It's like gammon and beans and tomatoey and peppery and whoa. It's just, the, it's, the weather's got really cold and that's the sort of food that you want, isn't it? It's like really nice comfort food. So I'm going to go to the shops and grab all the ingredients for that and get that going. And then I am going to, because I'm going to the gym at 11, so I don't know if I'll get a chance to do any sewing, but I wanted to quickly share with you what I did last night. I My sewing room was a complete mess after having gone to Frocktails because I was so stressed about getting the dress finished. I was just doing that and not worrying about anything else. And everything has just been a complete mess everywhere. <laughs> so yesterday I spent the day tidying it all up, getting it all nice and tidy. And then I did cut out a couple of projects. I got my cutting table out and cut out a couple of things. So first of all, I won't grab it, but I cut out Ellen's jeans because I'm making her the dawn jeans, but I kept making adjustments to them with the twirl. Now, unfortunately, she's now not here, so I'm going to have to make them and just be really brave and fully make them and not get her to try them on, which I am a little bit nervous about, if I'm absolutely honest, but I'm just going to have to go with it and hopefully it'll be OK. So I'm going to make her those jeans over the next week or two. I also, using, I will get this, using this fabric, which is some um, fabric I bought from the... Birmingham Rab Market, um, I actually cut out my very first pair of Wendy Ward Derwent trousers. I'm very excited about doing that. So um, I am going to be having a little bit of a chat with the lovely Cara and uh, Sarah tonight. So Cara, um, so, so mad and Sarah, so Sarah style. And they are both Derwent mad people. <laughs> They really love their Derwent trousers. So I might sew them when I'm on the phone with them tonight, which would be quite nice. But what I did do is I went through my um, Whips book. Now, I do have a bit of a confession to make. I know that I put up on a poll about um, which whip you think I should finish. I put up like four different whips and got you to vote on them. Now, I'm really sorry because I know this is going to make it sound like, well, you did all that, but it was... For, for nothing <laughs> but it wasn't for nothing the end result of that was that I sewed up and finished sewing up my fibre mood Norma blouse which is almost done now I will still finish this and I will probably still finish it quite soon but I didn't get chance to get to it that was what I planned on doing I didn't get chance to get to it and now the weather has changed I'm a bit like mm, I'm not really sure if this is 
what I want to wear so I don't want to spend time on it. I do want to go through my whips. I have gone through a lot already. I've got rid of some. I've sewn some up. I've, you know, lots of things have been happening in that respect. But I didn't actually end up finishing that blouse. So what I did is I got my whip list, which is here. I've crossed off the ones that I've finished or given away or thrown away or what have you. And then I have marked the ones that are for the summer in yellow, ones for autumn and winter in orange and then I've got some that say other so like the Mara bra um what else have I got Mara bra things for other people like John's shirt and things like that so I've got three different categories on there and I'm going to concentrate on the orange ones the one for autumn and winter and one of those the very top one in fact is the sew over at Jesse Cotigan so last night I didn't do any of it but I got it out show you i got out what i had done so far so i could just have a bit of an idea of what i had managed to do so i thought i'd share that with you i'm doing the lined version so the it's a bit creased up because it's been just hanging on a hanger for ages um i've got the sleeves to sew up uh, two of those i have got all of the inner lining done and attached to the facings of the coat and all of the actual coat is, is upside down. That's all done and finished bar the sleeves. Although I'm mm, saying that. <laughs> I don't know where the sleeves actually are, which is a bit interesting, isn't it? So I need to find the sleeves. So, um, mm, yeah, that's a bit worrying. I'm sure that sure there must be somewhere. And I've got loads of this fabric, so if I can't find them, I can cut some new ones out. And I've got the pockets in there as well, in the lining fabric as well. So when I then sat, we were watching some TV, so I got the instructions up on my phone and I started going through. There's really very little to do. So I thought what I would do today for my Friday series is once I'm back from the gym and I'm showered and dressed and I hopefully look a bit nicer than I do now, um, I will do a bit of sewing and I'll take you with me on that sewing and let you know where I get to by the end of the day. So I hope you enjoyed that. A bit different for me for a Friday Sews today, um, but we'll see how we get on, shall we? I'll see you in a bit. So that's all going. I've got my slow cooker out. I don't normally use my slow cooker in the summer, so I've had to pull that out and get that set up. Although the dial where it tells you if it's low, medium, uh, low, high, or keep warm has rubbed off, and I don't know. <laughs> I don't know which one's which. So I'm gonna have to Google that in a little bit and see if I can work that out, which is a bit annoying. Um, I bought some milk and some biscuits at the shops because I'm going to go to my mum and dad's later. They have been on holiday and they come back tomorrow. So I'm going to go over, turn their fridge on, put some milk in their fridge, leave them some biscuits, that kind of thing. Um, so I'm going to quickly get this food cooked or food chopped up and ready to put in the slow cooker. Don't think I'm going to have a chance to do any of that sewing now between now and when I go to the gym. Um, I'll just see how I get on. So, I'm gonna get chopping. Right, I'm just at the stage now where I need to put in the beans and the tomatoes and the spices and the herbs and things. Just grabbing my cup of tea. I'm going to go off and do that because you're actually on my tin of baked beans. So I need to take you off of there. I'm going to get the kitchen cleared up and then I'll come back in a little bit. Bye. Right, so I am back from the gym. I have been to my mum and dad and delivered the milk and taken over some very naughty biscuits as well. And I have delivered a parcel, which I needed to do. I've made myself yet another cup of tea. <laughs> mm. 
I haven't actually done my had my lunch yet and it's getting on it's actually gone two o'clock now so um I am um, I've just put some moisturizer on I'm just going to put the most teeny tiniest bit of makeup on I wasn't going to but I don't know I just feel like it would make me feel a little bit better if I did so I'm going to put a little bit of makeup on and then dry my hair have some lunch or I might have my lunch and then dry my hair and then I am going to get on with doing some sewing of my Sew Over It Jesse Coskin. Now, I did say before I left that I didn't seem to have the sleeve. And while I was out this morning, I did think, I actually, I haven't got a clue where that might be. So I've just been back and I've had a really good rifle through everything. And I have now found it. I've I found the sleeve and the sleeve facing, which is what you need for the, um, if you're doing the lined version. Oh, actually, I don't know. You might need that for the unlined version as well. I can't actually remember because it's such a long time ago since I made the made the coat. Um, but I'm so glad that I, I found it. But what it did do is in my cupboard, I've got lots of these paper bags, you know, the sort of paper bags that you get from um fabric shops when you buy a bit of fabric um, and what I what I do I I kind of do this whole or oh, I'll just shove all the spare fabric from where I've cut that project out in there and I'll I'll sort that out later and later never really comes and I've realized that that's something that needs to go on my large to-do list you know you have like well I do anyway I have a to-do list every day of like just little things like I need to send that parcel up I need to go to mum and dad's blah 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 that kind of thing but then do you, does anybody else do this where you have like a, I can't, John laughs at me because I call it like my life list. <laughs> goes, it's not really life, is it? It's not like life or death, um, which is which is true. Um, but I've got this list of like, I need to sort the garage out and I need to sort the loft out and I need to do this and do that. And one of the things that's going to go on my list now is sort out all those weird bags of bits because that's basically what it is um in my in my cupboard in my sewing room so that's something that I'm going to have to try and do at some point it it's all those really strange pieces of fabric where they're like they are too big they're too big to throw or I feel like they're too big to throw away they're not big enough for a particular project you know when you're just a little bit like oh, I just don't actually know what to do with them so yeah I came across that so I'm gonna get all that done have my lunch and then I come back and do a bit of sewing with you actually got dressed I show you what I've got on I've got on a true bias Nico roll neck top in a ribbed jersey it's quite an old one actually but oh my gosh I've got pins to get I thought there was something biting me <laughs> um true bias Nico it's quite old I will say it's a bit pilled and the quality of the fabric's not that great it was a very very inexpensive um Minerva fabric like one of their basics so I'd quite like to make another black version of this but in a nicer quality rib knit what I will say is I think maybe I was overestimating how cold it was because it's it's not that cold and I'm now really feeling quite warm anyway I've got that on with my sew over it if you could be able to see this my sew over it um oh I can't think what the name of this is but it's a skirt that they had recently I will put the name of it up on the um up on the screen I really like the detail of the pockets it's like they're inserted so I will do I'll stand up so you can see it that'll save me trying to find a photo of it later so it's I should really probably have it on with tights but I am just a bit warm so I'm just going to wear it without tights I'm only home anyway so it doesn't really matter so I'm just about to re-thread my overlocker I've sewn up the sleeves of the lining of my Jessie Cotigan and I'm about to overlock them it does say in the instructions that there's no real need to overlock the lining but because it's viscose and the fabric that I'm making the coat out of is is washable I think that I probably will end up washing it like not really regularly because you don't wash coats regularly do you? but I probably will end up washing it quite a bit and I don't want it to run so I'm just I'm just basically going to overlock it to give it a bit more longevity really so yeah that's what I'm going to do so I'm just about to thread up my overlocker um while I while I'm here I am just going to have a quick chat I don't really like asking people for money <laughs> and that's not kind of what well, I am doing that but I'm not it's not for me if that makes any sense um but I just I just wanted to quickly touch on something I've been meaning to do this for a few weeks 
but I'm after some support, basically. Um, my friend and I are going to run the London Marathon next year, which is in April 2025. Um, we said that we were going to try and apply, and I didn't, I didn't really think either of us would get in. But I got in, and my friend didn't. <laughs> And we had made an agreement that whoever, if one of us did get in, the other one would get a charity space and we would raise the money together. And that's what we've decided to do. So my friend, um, like I say, she's now got a charity space, but we, she wanted it to be a charity that really meant something to both of us. And we've ended up choosing the Brain and Spine Foundation. And I'll put, uh, I'll put a picture of what that looks like up on the screen. So... Very briefly, um, and I'm really happy to answer more questions and go into more detail in the comments, but my friend's brother on Christmas Eve 2023, so this Christmas just gone, was visiting her with their mum. He's in his 50s and um, they were having their evening meal on Christmas Eve in the evening and all of a sudden he had a funny turn and he actually suffered a really major stroke and has had a couple of strokes and seizures and things since then and his road to recovery has been really really long um and is still ongoing we my friend and i she's called karen we ha run together I haven't been running much recently because of my injury but i'm i'm going to be getting back to it obviously because i'm going to be doing the london marathon <laughs> um but we've been running together and we we actually ended up calling our runs our therapy runs because it was just time to talk and air frustrations worries you know all sorts of different things with each other and they've been absolutely fantastic and when she was trying to choose when she was trying to choose a charity to um to to raise money for we decided that it needed to relate to both of us because we were both going to be raising money. Now, I don't know if you remember, I last year I said a few times that I was going in to visit a friend of mine that was in hospital. Um, and I've asked permission from my friend if it's OK, or my friend and her husband, if it's OK to share this. So we there's a there's a little group of six of us, three couples um, that are all friends. and We have sort of meals together and things. And. We hadn't heard from one of the couples for a little while, for a few weeks. And 12 months ago in October, so right now, um, she became very, very poorly. And it was unknown to begin with what, what the problem was. Um, but she actually ha suffered with something called encephalitis, which is a um, infection on the brain and it causes swelling. And it ha she spent, I think it was over six months in hospital, um, it wasn't caught quite quickly enough, so she does have some long lasting effects, unfortunately, um, but she is much better. But without the support of various charities and institutions and organisations, she, her and her family wouldn't have been able to get to where they are now. And she is much better. She is home now. She is dealing with day to day tasks, which is fantastic. She's even started to um, go back to work a little bit, which is somewhere where I don't think any of us would have thought she would ever be able to be. Um, but it's been absolutely fantastic that obviously I've seen that recovery, but it was really, really scary at the time. And it was just that little bit too close to home, I have to say. So we've picked this charity because it relates very much to both of us. And they do amazing work with rehabilitation, awareness and support for families. And I'm going to put a link in my video below. Now, some people are very, very kind and they quite often buy me a coffee, coffee, coffee. I never know how to say it, but they buy me a coffee on my coffee account. I think that's how I would say it. And I'm just asking that if anybody feels inclined to do that and to support my channel, that instead of doing that on my Kofi account, that you do that on my um, fundraising page. Like I say, I'm going to put all of the details of that down below and I'll put some more details of the charity down there as well so that you can see exactly what sort of work they do. I don't, I'm not asking people to, you know, donate loads and loads of money, but if anybody felt they could donate one or two pound, that would be absolutely fantastic because everything going towards it is obviously amazing. We have a target, we have a target of 2,000 pound. 
what we'd like to do is well and truly exceed that so that we can send as much money to this charity to, so that they can use it to support more families going through what my friends has gone through and what my friend um, family has gone through as well. So I hope you don't mind that I've just done a little plug for that on here. Anyway, right, I'm going to get on, I'm going to thread up my overlocker. Right, that's all ready to rock and roll. So I am going to overlock my sleeves and then I'm going to get them pinned in. And I'll carry on with a bit of sewing and I'll let you know where I get up to just before I'm about to go and start my cooking. Well, my evening meal's already prepped. I'm going to put some potatoes in things and just get myself ready for my Zoom call with Cara and Sarah tonight. Um, I'll ju I will just say a couple of things that I've done as well. I spent a little bit of time, like I say, cutting out yesterday my Derwent trousers and my jeans for my daughter and I put in the wash lots and lots and lots of fabric that I really intend to use and make for garments in the next coming months because I thought there's nothing more annoying than actually suddenly realising oh I've got a bit of time to sew or cut out a project but the fabric's not washed so I thought right I'll get all of that washed and then I might even have just like a mega cutting out session and putting everything in, in bags. I don't see that as whips when I do that because if they're not started and not sewn, but I, I just think that it will help me to get a bit more sewing done because I've been a little bit, a little bit sort of off with my sewing recently. It's not that I've lost my sojourn, I've just not had huge pockets of time to be able to do things and it's great when things are all ready and, and raring to go. So yes, so I'll come back to you and let you know where I've got to on my sewing. Okay, so I am now going to finish because I need to go and have my tea and I also need to get ready for tomorrow. So tomorrow I'm actually teaching at Make Fabric Boutique. We are going to be sewing the Heyday dungarees and I'm going to wear mine. In fact, I'll just grab mine now. Um, mine are in a denim. So I'm going to be wearing my Heydays tomorrow. I, when I went away on the weekend, um, Adele, who is so for Serenity, she had on a pair of like, um, they were like, well, actually really similar colour to this, like a khaki green, dark khaki green uh, needle cord heyday dungarees. And oh my gosh, she just looks absolutely fantastic in them. And it has made me think I really want to make another pair. So I don't know what I'm going to wear with this. I might even wear this, because I've only had this on for half a day, I might even wear this black roll neck top. I normally wear something really pale underneath it, so I might try that tomorrow and see what that looks like. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you how I've got on with my coat. So the main body of it, I need to do a little bit of pressing, but the main body of it is now done. I just need to, these are the facings on the sleeves, so they need to be turned up actually I'm liking this colour much more than I thought I was going to. Um, so that's that's the main coat. Obviously there's going to be a facing so the actual fabric is on this side. Um, I've done all of the lining on the coat so that's the facing that will go along here in a minute. Well not in a minute, when I finish it. And obviously then I'll be able to go that pew and have this lovely facing on the inside which I'm quite excited about. Now that I've done it a little bit more I'm really excited about this and I remember really liking this coat. I don't think it's right to wear with a skirt like this but I think something like this top with a pair of maybe some black skinny jeans with this over the top of it I think that would look really that look quite nice yeah so I'm quite excited about getting that finished. So I'm gonna leave it there because I need to edit this to get this uploaded <laughs> and I need to get ready for tomorrow. I need to have my evening meal and then I'm going to go and have my phone call with Sarah and Cara. So I'm going to leave it there for Friday Sews today. A little bit of a different one from me today. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll speak to you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.